Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, we're going to talk about what is the stick concept. We're going to talk about it at really the vanilla level to start, and then we're going to get into the nuance, the details, the different ways you can run, different variations of stick, talk about it from multiple NFL playbooks, show you the exact plays, how they do it. I'm really excited. This is going to be a great one. Welcome to the QB School. All right, the first one up here is just the normal stick concept. So when we look at this, really the stick concept is about the stick route. And so it's really a five yard kind of out hitch can run out. So basically verse man, you can go up to five yards and run out. Verse zone, you wanna go up to five yards and turn out. So just a little stick route right at the top. It's usually tethered with a flat route. So you'd read the flat first and then this five yard little stick route. Let's see what it looks like in New Orleans. So again, set right is just the formation. We're up here at the top. Set right, 322 is the protection. Y stick is the route. Y stick right here is the route. We'll talk about the X home on the backside, but we really want to pay attention to the stick route. So that stick route is right here. We're going to best release five yards, four to six yards, and we're going to run out, or we can go up and kind of sit down in zone and just kind of find an area. But the first read is this flat route. So one right there two to the stick, and then three back down to the check down. So it's just right to left, right across the board. Now there's all sorts of nuance and details about this, but I really want to pay attention to this stick route. You want to come up and just find a little hot area, a little opening in the void. You can don't have to run out to get covered. If there's a guy right here, you would just go up, turn around, turn out, and then just find that little void right there in the zone area. Versus man, you'd come up and want to run away. But again, from the quarterback perspective, it's a three-step drop. We're going to look to the shoot or the flat first, whatever you want to call it, but normally a flat one, two to the stick. But in reality, these things happen at the same time. So for me, it was always one. Yeah, in the playbook, it's one to two. Great. But when you're playing football, you see this area first. One right here. Now, the other thing about this is anytime you have a stick route going this way, you almost always have a must outside release go route on the outside. So you see this clear route, whatever you want to call it. You got to go outside the shoulder of that corner. So you want to be able to not let him get involved with these flats or sticks. Let him come off and cloud or trap someone. So the stick route is right here. It's that little five yard out. Find the void right there in the zone area. Usually tethered with a flat right there. Stick combination. Now this Omaha on the backside is what you see up here. When I was in New Orleans my first couple of years, they used to talk about reads as pure progressions. You'll see in my notes, P, P, or P, W, O, progression with an option. And this option is right here. That's at Omaha. When I was in New Orleans, it's just a quick out. So if you come out and you like this, this is a pitcher look on the backside. You're able to come out and just throw this little quick out easy. Don't even worry about the stick. It's This is a perfect look. Throw the quick out. If not, come out and throw the stick. And the stick is really just a ball progression, ball possession kind of concept. So this is the vanilla look. Again, just to go over one more time, the outside wide receiver has a clear route. Outside release, clear route. The stick route is usually the most inside receiver. If you run it with three receivers, oftentimes the number two is in the flat. So this flat stick is the one read. That's what you're trying to throw. That's the stick concept. Really simple, just five yard out, tethered with a little flat route, usually with a clear route on the outside. Really simple, you read these things, one really quick, back down to the check down, right there. Really nice, simple, clean concept. Next variation I wanna talk about is the same stick concept. We'll see it, 322 Y stick. Again, 322 is just a protection. Y stick is the concept. So now there's no Omaha on the backside. It's a sit route, which is really just a takes the place of a check down. So instead of having a back run the check down, you have a wide receiver in there. So again, you'll notice the same read over here. Must outside release, go or clear. Flat by the number two. Stick by the number three, the inside receiver. And that's just, you number the receivers. One, two, three, outside in. So again, the stick route, five yards up, turn around, flat route, into the flat, read this thing. One, and then back over to the two for the sit. Just a different variation. You'll start to realize that there's all sorts of variations to run stick from. Again, you'll see right here, pure progression. You want to stare at the corner. Make sure that they get out of there so you can throw this flat. Don't have to worry about the corner coming off. So again, three-step footwork from under center. 
Just know it's one right here. Really simple read. Flat stick route. Boom. Find that little void. If you don't like it, if everybody goes this way with your eyes, you're able to come back to the sit, which takes the place of the check down from the last play. Again, just another simple variation. The next variation I want to talk about is the empty variation of stick. It's more where I think you'd actually play this play if you weren't in a training camp, mini camp situation. So you're going to come out and empty. You're going to have stick on one side, then you're going to have it matched up with another concept. So we'll look at it right here where it'll be stick and double slant. So stick double slant, we see the stick, still the same concept over here. We're gonna get the flat with the stick route, with the clear route. That's normal stick concept. We should know that one pretty good now. Now you have it tethered with a double slant on the back side. A little slant, a little quick slant on the inside. So now the read is a little bit different. It's not just stick right to left, like we were reading it before, flat to stick to check down some sort of variation with a little option on the backside. Now we're gonna change the read. You see it's an adjustment to the mic. So where's the mic? Here's the mic, here's the Will, here's the Sam. Okay, this is a pre-snap look, PSL, was what we used to call it in New Orleans. Again, three-step drop, so where's the mic? He can't be right. If he's over here taking away the stick, then we're gonna come out and have all this space to run a little slant right behind him. If he's in the middle of the field, he can't come up and cover this stick route. So he can't be right. If he's in the middle of the field, we'll roll with the stick. If he's hinting in the B gap, which is right here, or over, we're gonna come back and throw this little slant or slop, all sorts of different ways you can call this thing if slant with an option is a slop route. So again, just the normal clear though, don't overthink it. It's an outside release go, a flat, and a stick route. That's stick, 101. Now we're starting to tether it with other concepts on the other, this other side of the field, a little bit cuter formations with the empty, quick slant, slant behind it pre p s l pre snap look is the read so just another variation to run it so just in case you thought i was lying about the different variations to run it i'm not going to go through all these but you can see here all sorts of different formations all sorts of different ways to run it all to throw a stick route all to throw a five yard little out route five yard little out route we see the stick combination we see the stick combination we see the double slants on the backside. and really it doesn't have to be double slants it could be slant flat it could be hitches it could be anything you want on the backside. It could be some variation of smash. It can be anything we want, tether to stick. And it just changes the read. Now in New Orleans, we used to do it off the mic, which is right here. So he can't be right on any of these reads, but there's all sorts of different ways to do it. it doesn't have to be just off the mic. It can be off leverage, matchup, all sorts of different variations. But you see the core elements, the principles. This is game planning. This is to get your people and then it doesn't always have to be the Y. It just is right here in these drawings. And in New Orleans it was. But it can be any wide receiver. It can be a running back. So we get the stick still, that five-yard little out, with that flat, with the must-outside release, go. Tethered to any sort of concept. And we can start seeing that there's a lot of different concepts. Mike McCarthy, heavy jargon, high-volume offense. Now this is the fun part for me. QB school, multiple offenses. Now we're into the digit. I want to say this is from my Detroit days with Martz. Again, just a different way to do it. They don't even call it. Uh, y stick or stick. They just do a straight digit. A quick three right here is what we're looking at. So again, motion. Here's that little flat. We notice it. Here's the stick route. Now, just because they don't call it stick doesn't mean it's not stick. Base, outside release. There it is. Three step. That was my question. This is his writing. Cover two. You may have to hit and hold if you're going to come back and work the slant. That's what that means. So if verse cover two or cloud corner, you got to give him time to work that and then come in here underneath. But again, you see the read. One, two, one, two. Sky, just a variation of uh, closed, usually four weak. So he basically say this is a rotation read. But if it's middle of field closed, normally you'd want to work. You could throw a slant. But if it's four sky, and that's just how we designated it in New Orleans or in Detroit. That would mean that the sky defender is coming down from here and the strong safety is rotating back to the middle of the field. So really just three weak, I think is how most people would call it. But again, you notice the read is the same. This is stick. This is a different offense called a totally different way, but it's stick is stick is stick. And now you know how to play it as a quarterback. You can go to any offense and play it. Now we're into the Minnesota playbook. So this is another variation of it. Now this is double stick. I think most teams would call this all stick is how I'm used to calling this. And what that means that by that is everyone's running a stick route. So you usually can run this out of squeeze too or tight formations where you guys run flats here. But again, if they're going to come spread out in two by two, we got the stick route. We'll notice the stick route looks the same. Every offense, different team now. We've seen it on three different teams. 
We've got another stick route on the outside, which is really just a quick out. But again, you notice verse pray, fade or press. This turns into a go route, must outside release, go. And there it is. That's the concept. Must outside release, go, stick route. Boom. Easy. They call it something totally different. Double stick we'll get into next. All stick, whatever stick is stick. Right here, boom. Get up, get an easy completion. Three-step read based off leverage on what side you want to play to. So whatever linebacker you want to work off here or whatever off coverage out here on the perimeter if you want to throw a quick out. Never really liked quick outs. Hard throw for five yards and toe tap on the sideline. But again, just another variation. Stick. We're starting to see it multiple offenses. All right, the next one I want to talk about is double stick. So now we're going to notice that the stick is the same. We still have the stick by the number three receiver. We still have a must outside release go or clear route by the number one receiver. So one, two, three. So that concept's the same. Stick is stick, number one receiver, outside release. But now you'll notice instead of doing what was normally a flat route by the number two, we're going to do another stick route. So they call it, most teams call this double stick. So just a simple read, really it's the same read. Again, you'll see playbook, coach talk, this is one, two, three. But if you're really playing quarterback, this is one. You look at this as fast as you can. You're never really going to throw this clear route. I mean, you got to have an amazing matchup or uncovered to throw a clear route, especially off of a motion like this. But again, we were going to be in a crazy formations in New Orleans. And so get there this way, but you could do this out of any formation. It could be, don't really pay attention to who's who in the zoo here as far as H, Z, Y, D, it doesn't matter. This is one, two, three, and then really one and two over here. So right here, you're going to run. The three still has the stick. You'll notice that every time the three has the Y stick. That is the stick. Now, instead of a flat, we're going to run two sticks. Now, the teaching point here for the inside, the number two stick here is that you cannot stop in zone right here because then this guy runs right into you half the time. So the number two stick has to run out, must keep running, speed cut, got to run out of there. So it's a stick, must run out. Both these guys are hot, really doesn't matter in three-step game. But again, here's the double stick. That's double stick. You're going to see this concept is probably run more than just straight up stick. I like it better, better options, happens at the same time, a little bit cleaner of a look. So again, the teaching point is the exact same for the stick, the inside number three stick, exact same for the number one. But now instead of a flat, we have a must run out, quick out, or stick route. That's all it is. That's double stick. So again, pure progression. We're going to read it one, two, three, all the way across the field. Easy read for the quarterback. Right to left or left to right. Right to left here. Boom. Easy, simple. Get the ball out of your hands. Really quick, easy concept. So that was New Orleans. This is from the Green Bay playbook. <clears throat> Look pretty similar. They actually change up here. Who's number one? Who's number two? Again, I don't really think it matters. I think if you're playing this, this is just one. Again, the hots here, a little bit different, different offenses, whatever. They're the same. You could throw either of these hot, in my opinion. So again, this double stick, there it is. Trips right, double stick. You'll notice the protections are the same in the West Coast offense. Not going to get into the nuance and details of it. You'll notice many of the uh, personnel groups are the same. Zebra, Eagle, Tiger in West Coast. Trips, a little different formation. But again, it doesn't matter who this is. One, two, three for the wide receivers. One, two. You'll notice the spacing. They all get to around the same routes. All simple, really easy spacing. Again, here's that kind of slop route. Go in here, find that zone area, come out of it versus man. That's what that means, man to man right there. Good man round. Good notes there. So again, outside release. All these things carry over. This is now the fourth offense we've seen stick. Here it is. Why stick? The number one, the number three receivers are the exact same every single time. Now we're back to New Orleans. All sorts of different variations of double stick. Again, different formations, different motions. You see all these crazy motions that we used to do. Get all these guys running it. Got different guys running it. Different splits. Get all sorts of zoom, far, strong, right? All these things. This is just nasty. It brings the split down right here. We see the nasty. Again, 322 West Coast. Off protection with where the ball, where the hots are going to be, double stick. We now know double stick. Same as stick, except the number two doesn't have a flat. He's now got a must run out, quick out or stick. That's the change. The read is still right across the board. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Easy. Again, back to that very first one. Now we're back to double stick again. Okay, double stick again changes the number two from a flat to a stick. But now we're back to 
this little progression with an option. We got this Omaha back. You can put anything here back here. If you love this look, pitch your look. It's an alert. Pitch your look. Progression with an option. If you like it, you can come out and take it. It's got to be the perfect look to come back and throw this. Otherwise, we got this. Easy, simple, right to left read or left to right read right across the board. Double stick concept. Again, all these progressions with an option, the same read, double stick, boom, easy. But now we got a little sluggo on it. We called it train in New Orleans. It doesn't matter what you call it. You run a slant back here. You run a sluggo. You run a train. You run a go. You run a hitch. About all sorts of different variations. It's just a progression with an option was how we called it back then. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's a pre-snap look. It's an alert. There it is. Alert alert we've talked about on this channel but it's double stick eagles the different personnel group tiger different personnel group motion all sorts of different motions to hide these tight splits in double split in double stick excuse me but again the concept is the same all these things look like different plays but in reality it's the same play it's just double stick here's another version double stick now back to empty with now we got the double slants on the back side so now we can again read that mic again empty same as stick here, stick with a line or stick with slants on the backside, slick with anything on the backside, progression with an option. But versus this, remember in New Orleans, we were reading the mic. He can't be right, either one. Now you just have another variation, another better throw, in my opinion, than throwing a flat. Flat's a really hard throw for two yards from the pocket. Come out, throw a little quick out on by this number two, give him a chance to make a move, get some more yards up the field. I like double stick a lot. And now we're into what I think is the best part of a stick route, the stick nod, basically the double move off of this. So all it is, doesn't matter that it's double stick or stick, it's basically come up, run that little stick route, and then get up. Little double move, quick little double move, little down out and go back in the day when you're at the park, recess, come up, give them something, shuffle your feet, and then get up the field. If there's two of them, usually you have landmarks right here. You can see I had the hashes drawn, the numbers drawn from taking notes, little move up the hash, number one, little move up the numbers, number two. So just one, two, simple. This is a great red zone play. Come up, give him a little move, cross the safety's face. Come up, give him a little move, cross the safety's face. So great, this is my favorite part of running stick routes. In fact, the only reason I'd ever wanna run stick route is for the stick nod. Come up, give him something, get out of there. You see it again, now it's tethered with another concept over here. You don't want a double slant. You don't want people coming to the party. Don't bring more dudes to the party. So what you do right here is you run a little arrow or smash concept back here, get this safety out of here, create a void in the middle to be able to take advantage with that stick nod right at the good. Then I couldn't find a drawing of it, but I love, I th actually think it's a better play, not double stick nod, just stick nod, where you actually have come out here and instead of having the second nod runner, you have this guy run a loop route. So right here, basically what you do is you come up, stick nod, put your best player right there, and you put the number two on a loop route, basically replaces that. So if for some reason, let's just say you come up, you want that stick nod, no, it's not there because the mic kind of falls underneath it. Well, now you have this replacement loop route coming right underneath it, usually right inside the end zone. You run this right at the five yard line. Really simple, nice way to go. Just one on the stick nod to two on the loop. And it all happens kind of in your vision. That's really my favorite play off of it. So I love the stick, no, loop, yes, right there in that little void because you've run double stick now. So you get the basically you get two double moves, but not both of them are down the field. That little loop creates that space right there, right at the feet of the goal line. You see that run all the time in the league. Then again, just a bunch of different variations on how to get to double stick arrow. And it doesn't have to always be double stick arrow. It can be double stick anything back here, like just straight up smash. I think arrow works a little better versus man-to-man -man coverage with the runaway over here. This is that, that, this is that route, arrow route right here, just tethered with a smash. But again, Double stick, you can run it double stick nod, or you can run that double stick nod loop, which is money. I love that play so much in the red zone. That's a good one. All right, so that's a wrap. That's the stick concept. That's the vanilla stick ex explanation I can give, the best one I can possibly give, just a little five yard out route or sit in a zone, usually tethered with a flat at the basic level. Most teams run it though double stick. A lot of teams love to do it at an empty double stick. You can also then do the stick nod where you come up, give them a little nod, run up, and then have something coming underneath it if you don't want to do double stick nod. I love the 
the single stick nod in the red zone where you come up and have the loop right underneath it as a replacement. It all happens right in the quarterback's vision. So you come up, yes to the nod, no to the nod, down to the loop. Really great concepts. This is a great football play. Run at just about every level, but I think there's all sorts of different iterations, variations that you can find to get your players the best ball, no matter what your organization, team level is. Stick nod is a great concept. Stick's a great concept. Double stick's a great concept. All stick's a great concept. Get completions, get the quarterback feeling good, and then you also have double moves built off of it with the stick nod and the stick nod loop. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please give the channel a subscription if you haven't already. I appreciate the support. Have a great one.